The All-American Qualifiers, presented by two-time champion Flying Cowboy 123, a grade one stakes winner at both two and three. And by Granada Farms, also standing leading freshman sire, this is an eagle. Fourth fastest, day one, Page. The daughter of Tempting Dash came to the All-American Trials with no races since May. Her most recent start was a good fourth in the Heritage Place Juvenile. She's owned by CNN Breeding, a partnership of Kay Carver, Jeremy Newton, and Mike and Connie Nobles. They paid $30,000 for her at the Heritage Place on the recommendation of trainer Clint Crawford. We don't enter many in the All-American Trials. We run in the other races and don't go to the All-American Trials much because the competition is just so tough. We rarely have a horse we think is good enough to, to get there. And um, Clint convinced us this one was, and so we stayed in. And we're, we're dead good sure happy we did. It often helps to run with a fast horse, and Paige found one in He's Judge and Jury. There, slight stumble from Sharp as attack. He's judge and jury has speed page along the inside. And then between horses, AP Dynasty. Next sharp is attack. Then we have Magic Philly Cartel and Anduesa. And Page is taken over from He's Judge and Jury. He's Judge and Jury's battling right back. Page hangs close enough to He's Judge and Jury to post the fourth fastest time. It was a long wait for the CNN breeding partners, and trainer Clint Crawford threw 15 more trials. Literally, he told us that um, if she got out of the gate, she would qualify. And I got to tell you, when you're sitting fourth with about eight races to go, uh, I'm not sure I had all that much confidence in his prediction, but uh, uh, it helped. Tune in to the Cowboy Channel for complete live coverage of the All-American Derby and Futurity on Labor Day weekend.